so many of you can relate to this. Counting the hours you spend stuck in traffic on tri-state roads. Move Up Cincinnati, which is our ongoing coverage of transportation and growth in the tri-state, is looking at an issue that you may not realize is impacting your physical and your mental health. Yeah, transportation reporter Pat LaFleur explains when you should be concerned about the toll of traffic troubles. No matter where your commute takes you, chances are you'll be spending some time stuck in traffic and probably more time than you realize. Lauren Miller gets a front row seat to the worst of the worst of tri-state traffic on her commute between Norwood and Delhi every day. Usually I get on 75 off the lateral right here at Reading Road. Um, and then I go all the way down 75 to Freeman Avenue. And right before Freeman, that's where it gets kind of sticky. Yeah. <laughs> so um, always a downer. Miller is one of nearly 200,000 drivers that travel through I-75's Brent Spence corridor each day. That means she has to build in extra time every morning. It would probably only take me 20 minutes to get to work. How long does it usually take you though? With traffic, uh, close to 45 minutes most days. It turns out Cincinnati commuters lose an average of 60 hours each year just stuck in traffic, according to the traffic analysis group Enrix. That's on top of normal commute times without traffic, and that means stress. Not necessarily that I'm angry right away, but the longer I sit in traffic, the angrier I get. Feeling stressed now and again isn't a big deal, but when it becomes routine, that can cause problems. That's according to Dr. Erica Berkeley with the UC Health Stress Center. With a lot of our day-to-day -day stress, like traffic being one of those, over time can be related to things like hardening of arteries, among men in general, an increase of um, risk for cardiac events like heart attack or stroke. These factors can be especially risky for people who drive for their job in addition to driving to their job. Take on on your side news photographer Terry Helmer. If you had to guess, how many hours a week do you think you spend behind the wheel? Whoo, boy. Uh, 25 maybe, 20, 25. All that time behind the wheel has taught Helmer a few tricks to keeping calm. I may listen to the radio, I may think about, you know, a project that I'm working on at home, I may think about, you know, a vacation that, to, to get out of the traffic. Berkeley said it ultimately comes down to listening to our thoughts and emotions in the moment. Is it worth it for me to have this stress response in my body? Is it worth it for me to get upset? Um, and the answer is usually almost always no. Now as for anything pertaining to your health, Berkeley recommends seeking out professional guidance for dealing with daily stress. Reporting from DeVue Park overlooking the Brent Spence Bridge, Pat LaFleur, 9 on your side. Well, go to WCPO.com for more reminders from our stress expert about keeping calm behind the wheel. All through 2019, by the way, Pat and the Move Up Cincinnati team of reporters will bring you special coverage of transportation and growth throughout the tri-state.